Hello everyone and welcome. This is Dawn. I'm back with another video for you. Today I'll be using the Whimsy Stamps Revealer 2 die set. This die set comes with four dies. They're pretty cool. You can do a lot of things with them and today I'm going to be making an ice cream cone with one of the dies. So let's get started. I'm going to be using this die right here. I'm going to cut it from a piece of white cardstock and I'm going to put the die right here along the edge and run it through my die cut machine. I'm just going to take that and set it aside. I'm going to pick out my pattern paper now so that I can match my colors to it. I'm using this piece of paper from the Eat Cake Pattern Paper Pack. I'm using my Distress Oxide inks and blending brushes and I ink the top of the ice cream with it. I chose three different colors, Abandoned Coral, Worn Lipstick, and Scattered Straw. I just add a little bit of each color randomly on the paper and I dab some of the ink off on a scrap piece of paper first. This helps to prevent harsh dark spots on your paper. I just keep adding the ink until I'm happy with the colors that I get. And I just want to apologize that my camera was moving around. I didn't realize it while I was recording this part. Next, I take a piece of brown craft paper and I cut it to two and a quarter inches widthwise at the top. And then each side of the cone measures three inches to the point of the cone. I wanted it to have some dimension and look like a waffle cone. So I put it in the Whimsy Stamps thatched embossing folder. I'm using the Gemini Junior machine, so I just run it through my machine between both cutting plates. I wanted the cone to look like it was baked and have some darker spots on it, so I ink blended the, around the edges of the cone with the Distress Oxide Walnut Stain. Next, I need to trim the ice cream top down because it's too wide. So I put the ice cream top on my paper trimmer and then see where the cone would look good with the ice cream top and then trim off the excess. With a pair of scissors, I round out both sides of the ice cream top so it doesn't look so pointy on the ice cream cone. Now I'm going to assemble the card. I have my card base and my pattern paper cut to five and a half by four and a quarter. And I have another piece of white cardstock cut to three and a half by five and a half. Using my Whimsy Stamps Fadoodles 2 stamp set, I stamp a border on the piece of white cardstock with black ink. And then I flip the paper around and stamp the paper again. Sorry, it was kind of out of the frame shot. To assemble the card, I adhere the pattern paper to the white card base. Then I adhere the white paper in the middle of the pattern paper, leaving a border on either side of the white paper. I attach foam tape to the back of the ice cream top and the back of the cone and adhere them both to the card. I heat emboss the word happy birthday on a piece of black cardstock and cut it with the Whimsy Stamps quick strips and adhered it to the card with foam tape. Next, I took my clear Wink of Stella pen and colored in the ice cream. Then I put some Nouveau Crystal Glaze um, drops over the top of the Wink of Stella. When it dries, it will have like a little glittery look underneath the glaze. To finish off the card, I add some dots for accents to the top and bottom of the card using my Nouveau Jewel Drops, the strawberry color. And that will complete my card for today. I want to thank you for joining me on the Whimsy Stamps YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to the Whimsy Stamps channel and their other social media platforms so you don't miss out on any upcoming releases and great videos. Also, check out their website for an entire new release. Thanks and have yourself a wonderful day.